moved your photos library or you want to move your photos library but you want to ensure it stays connected to iCloud so it keeps synchronizing in a different location to the default one say your library's gotten too big to keep on your local hard drive but you need more of the originals uh, whatever the reason may be uh, first thing to do is with within photos you want to go to preferences to find the location of your uh, of your um, photo library so mine is here in my pictures folder and that's where it is by default so you can just click show in finder and it will bring it straight up um, I've already got it here now I want to move it to this external hard drive which actually is synchronizing to my Dropbox that way I've got it backed up but I've also got a lot more space to store the photos without having to purchase more space uh, with iCloud that is separate from my Dropbox so first things first we want to go up to our photos preferences and iCloud and we want us to tell it to stop synchronizing to the iCloud photo library the reason for this is it creates partial thumbnails uh, of the full files and when we try to create a new one um, iCloud doesn't like that so now that we have that done we want to copy our library across to our new location mine will take a little while to do it's about 64 gigabytes and uh, once that's done we can then go about reconnecting it but basically by removing the uh, iCloud connection we're removing all the temporary optimized versions of the files that um, that we don't have downloaded locally and that means it should reconnect nicely as the system library after it's done so just give that a little while to happen it's done now we have our new library in our new location it's just finished transferring so now we need to tell photos to use that new location now the way I found to do that is to just quit photos and then double click on the new library and photos will open up using the new library but we also want to connect it to iCloud so if we go photos and preferences we can just confirm yes that's our new location that's where we want it to be um, if we go to iCloud though it tells us we can't make this one use iCloud because it's not the system library so back in general we can then click this button here use a system photo library and that has now made this library the default library whenever you open photos uh, so now if we go to iCloud we can then turn on iCloud photo library and begin our synchronization with iCloud and that's it now you're all done you've got your new library uh, you can now go ahead and just delete your old one you don't need it anymore uh, just make sure whatever you're doing with it you have got it backed up before you do delete it uh, in my case I have a um, time machine backup of it and now that it is in my Dropbox folder it will also get backed up to my Dropbox in addition to iCloud so essentially I've got currently got three backups of it if you are relying on a um, time machine backup and you have moved it to an external drive just make sure to uh, include that external drive in your time machine backup otherwise it will no longer get backed up there so i hope you found that helpful and if you've got any questions just ask in the comments otherwise uh, click the like button and subscribe for more videos from me